Welcome to Living Piano TV. Today I'm going to talk about what are the best piano brands. This is not as simple a question as you might think. To answer this question, you really want to think about the country of origin. Essentially, the best pianos made are the ones made in the United States and parts of Europe. Then you go to the Japanese pianos, then Korean, and then the bottom, you've got the uh, pianos that are being made in China and Indonesia. So then, what is it about these countries of origin that makes such a difference? Well, things are not as simple as you might think. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you everything you need to know so that you can figure out what you are looking at. I'm Robert Estrin, and I'm lucky enough to have grown up in a musical household. My father, Morton Estrin, uh, was a concert pianist, still teaching, as a matter of fact, in New York. My sister is a fine pianist, Corin Estrin Mino. And uh, so I've always been surrounded with great instruments, great pianos like this one in front of me. So I, I kind of pinpointed for you the countries of origin. Now, why is it that Japanese pianos are better than Korean pianos? Why is that? Well, they've been making them a whole heck of a lot longer. And this is really why the American and German pianos are the preeminent instruments, because pianos have been made in the United States and in Germany uh, since the invention of the piano, essentially. So, uh, now I mentioned that it's a little bit harder to figure out where a piano is made because here's something quite shocking. The fact of the matter is that no matter how American the name on a piano may look, it, if it doesn't say Steinway or Mason and Hamlin or Charles Walter, the piano undoubtedly was not made in the United States. How can this be when you see so many different piano brands? Well, these are called stencil brands, and most of the pianos you see in piano stores are these stencils of either out-of-business piano companies like Hallett Davis, Kohler & Campbell, uh, Kanabi, the list goes on and on, or names that are just made up like Boston, Essex, and uh, others. So, cutting through the clutter is tough. Now, what are the very best pianos? Well, Charles Walter is a kind of a relative newcomer, only builds about 60 pianos a year. Even Mason and Hamlin, which has a rich history going back to the 19th century, builds only about 250 pianos a year. That's their global output. Steinway, maybe 2,000, 2,500 pianos. So really, this is a very small number of instruments. If you go back a number of years, there were hundreds of American piano companies and many of them were on the same level as Steinway and Mason and Hamlin. Now, moving over to, over to Europe, uh, the best European pianos are Dusendorfer made in Austria, Beckstein, Blutner, Fazioli made in Italy, and there's a couple of other companies that don't make very many pianos, nor do they necessarily make a full line of pianos, but there are also excellent instruments in very lim limited numbers coming out of Ebach, Sauter, uh, and then Lesser quality manufacturers uh, are also in Europe, particularly in Eastern Europe. Uh, Petrov, which is also Weinbach, they go by both names. Very good pianos, but not on the level of a Beckstein or a Busendorfer or, or of a piano like that. Uh, Estonia, very interesting Eastern European piano. Uh, the Eastern European pianos uh, are noteworthy because they're cheaper. Uh, labor costs are lower. They might not have the same level of refinement of the German pianos and Busendorfer, but they uh, represent good value. Now, moving to Jap Japan, Japanese pianos. There really are only two companies, and that is Yamaha and Kawai. They are respectively the first largest and second largest piano manufacturers in the world. And to make matters a little bit more complicated, they have factories not only in Japan, but also in Indonesia and China. In fact, they cover a complete range of instruments from, you know, rather modest, affordable pianos up to hand-built pianos. The Shigeru Kawais are magnificent hand-built instruments rivaling Steinway both in quality and in price. 
and the S series Yamaha is also uh, modeled after the finest German pianos, hand built, uh, very expensive. Those are not typically the Japanese pianos that uh, you see. The C series Yamaha and the RX series Kawai are their pretty much their bread and butter conservatory series pianos that most people uh, buy because the S series you might as well a lot of people feel you might as well buy a Steinway or a Mason and Hamlin if you're going to spend that kind of money. Uh, however, they are great pianos. So don't dismiss them if you're in that kind of price range. Then we move to Korea. There are only two companies in Korea, Samic and Young Chang. Young Chang suffered a bankruptcy recently. They are trying to get back on their feet. They are well funded. I believe there's association with Samsung. So they've got some money. Uh, the Young Chang pianos also go by the Weber name, a venerable American company that went out of business years ago. And they uh, put that on pianos coming out of both Korea and China. Young Chang, yes, has factories in China, uh, and uh, the Remington brand is a um, Indonesian uh, lower line that Samic has. Samic also has pianos under the Kohler and Campbell brand, uh, and Kanabi brand, and Somer, and Promberger, and there's probably half a dozen more that I haven't mentioned. Um, and uh, you know, it was a time that the Korean pianos were pretty awful, and then they got better and better. And the same thing has happened now with finally the Chinese and Indonesian pianos. Not that long ago, they were horrendous pianos. And now the quality is actually pretty good. For the money, it's kind of amazing that uh, these instruments can be produced. They look beautiful. And if it's primarily furniture after, and you just want a few years of, of uh, you know, reasonably good service, a Chinese or Indonesian piano is not a bad choice. You can get brand new baby grands for well under $10,000. It is pretty remarkable. Of course, there's particle board construction, plastic action parts. Obviously, it's not the same instrument uh, as a uh, Yamaha, much less a Steinway. Speaking of Yamaha, Yamaha and Kawai are perhaps the most refined manufacturing, uh, so that piano to piano, they're almost clones, particularly Yamaha. You can have three Yamahas of the same model and they are almost identical to one another. You can't say that about the hand-built pianos. Every one is dramatically different in tone uh, because being handmade, they're not trying to make clones. They're trying to make each instrument express its voice to the best of its ability. So you'll find if you play three Steinway M's right next to each other in the showroom, they're all gonna be very different. Plus Steinways, and Mason and Hamlin's don't come into the stores ready to sell. Uh, unlike a Yamaha, right out of the box is darn close to as good as that piano is going to get. A Steinway new out of the box isn't even close and typically it takes years of high level refinement to get the maximum performance out of a Steinway or other hand built piano. I hope this has been helpful to you. It's been a real pleasure talking about uh, my passion piano Please live, visit livingpiano.com. It's my website where it has a video of my live performances and pianos that I offer to people for sale, uh, special considerations for art centers and young struggling pianists, but all are welcome. Thanks for coming. It's been a real pleasure.